We've got uh, 15 aircraft working that fire, including two sky cranes. It's about five kilometres south of Mount Tomar as we speak, but we're seeing some significant winds blowing from the west, uh, blowing 40 to 60 kilometres. What do you see as the worst case scenario, Andrew? Probably our biggest risk at the moment is spotting, that is uh, embers moving ahead of the fire. Because we've had reports today that there was an, a control burn that basically now has got out of control in the mountains, is that correct? Uh, I have no information around that. Um, there have been a, a number of burns uh, conducted last night. I can't typically tell you whether a 35 kilometre burn. This fire will not be out until it rains. As I said, it's still active fire and um, residents should be prepared. Um, um, so it's really just a wait and see uh, situation. We've got a death in the south coast while we're all focusing on, on the Blue Mountains where it seemed to be the most imminent threat. Yes, that's right. Um, we're getting uh, constantly getting new fires reported. I think it's all around this weather pattern that's coming through. Unfortunately, that fatality, uh, my understanding, it was human error. Um, and unfortunately, um, uh, somebody deceased uh, from that. The bushfire was not directly involved with that. Um, fatality. Oh, well, so tell us a little bit about the rest of the state. We've got another significant fire burning about 20-25 um, kilometres north of Golden. Mm -hmm. That's about six or seven hundred hectares at the moment, again burning in inaccessible area. Um, unfortunately we've had winds gusting up to 90 kilometres an hour there and we've been unable to put aircraft over that fire. A fire burning in the Hawkesbury area, uh, it's about 70 kilometres north or up the Putty Road from Windsor. Mm -hmm. That's been about 4,000 hectares far. We was reported about 10.30 yesterday and is moving in a southeasterly direction. We've got uh, approximately 2,000 firefighters working these fires at the moment, so there's significant resource on them. And again, as I mentioned before, we've got strike teams um, uh, standing by around the state ready to mobilise to deal with any new outbreaks.